Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, since it is being released into theaters, Illuminations, The Grinch, a new Grinch, which is, I, he looks a lot sweeter than the original, I gotta say. Let's just go ahead and roughly place where his entire body is gonna go. He has kind of like this weird looking head. So it's like, it's round. So we still have this egg shape going on here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go down from there, bring out here, bring down his neck, and then go out one, and then out two. He doesn't have too much of a wide span of shoulders. And then we're gonna go ahead and start bringing this side of his arm down, bring it down, and then bring this one down. And then I'm gonna jump and give him more of an armpit here. And then an armpit right here. So before we fill out his arms, let's go ahead and continue making the rest of his body. So it's gonna go down and then it'll get wider. Same thing on this side. He's definitely got a pear shaped body. Keep going down and then circle up him too fat but he definitely has that pear shape after that pear shape let's go to his left arm um, I'm just gonna curve inward circle in and then go out and then go back in and make this attachment so his forearm to his elbow and he has really skinny arms and then that'll go into his hand. And I'm just gonna roughly place like a little circle here for his hand and we'll come back to that part. And then I'm gonna jump back over here. And this time this arm is gonna go a little bit more in front of his upper arm. So it's gonna go up, circle back down and into his belly. And then another circle for right here. Let's jump down here. We're gonna go and kind of like, we're gonna mark off this area for one leg and one leg for right here. So he's got this long body, but he still has pretty long legs. So we're gonna go down, still keep him pretty skinny. Let's say this is our imaginary, our imaginary ground for right now. Bring this down, circle back up really really skinny go down and circle back up and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring out the foot going this way and back in and it's just like a rounded off kind of an acute triangle and then this one's the same go out and then in All right, so let's start filling in some details. Now the thing about him is that this is kind of divided into two sections. So his eyes are way up here, and then his nose is gonna go down the middle. And he's got his, he his head a little bit cocked to the side, just a little bit with that little schneer. All right, so all the way up here, we're going to make his nose, because he's got that who knows, even though he's I don't know what he is. Maybe they'll explain that in this movie. <laughs> All right, and then we have one eye here and it's squinty. So we're going to make this eye a little bit like a sunflower seed. After this eye, we have his nose ridge. So he still has like an itty bitty nose ridge. So this eye is giving, we're gonna give it a little bit of space and then we're gonna jump over here and we're going to make another sunflower seed. After this, I'm gonna go in and jump into this eye and give them that half pupil towards the top. And as for this one, it's kind of all the way over to the side because it's into his nose ridge. Now for the rest of his eyelid, I'm gonna go up bring this off to the side right here 
and then his eyelashes. He definitely has a ton of eyelashes, but I think all hers do. So he has really pretty voluptuous eyes, but it's only to the corner and only the top eyelash line. So it's pretty thick over here too. Looks like he's just wearing a little bit of guy liner. Go to the corner, give a little bit more. And then we're going to make another eyelid here. And then it's all about the eyebrows when it comes to the Grinch. All of the expression goes into the eyebrows. But before we do that, I'm just gonna add a little bit of shine and a little bit of shine. And then I'm gonna fill in his pupil. And fill in his pupil. I'm gonna eliminate a little bit. He has a thick eyelash line, but it's not too flouncy. Don't make him look too much like a girl. There we go, that's a lot better. We just need to have a really thick upper eyelash line. All right, after this, I'm gonna, okay, so the eyes, the eyebrows get pretty close to becoming unibrow, so I'm gonna start one here, and then I'm gonna start one here. So one's gonna go this way. Big arch, and they're really fluffy. fluffy off to the side going this way. I think I have little spikies going into his more green hair. And then this one is going to curve down and off the side of his face. So they're really bushy. Then let's go ahead and go back, jump down to his nose. And he has like a little dimen like a little more detail here and then a little bit of detail here. But it's still that classic who knows. You got a little bit of a nostril here. Circle it around. So it's like the front of his nose here, a nostril, and then it's overall a darker color. It's a darker green than the rest of his face. After this, we're gonna jump up and give him his little hair on the top of his head, and he looks like he has forehead wrinkles now. So you're gonna go up, round it down, just to make that a little bit more subtle. And then this side on the side of his eyebrow is towards his eye is gonna go in and then out some forehead lines so we go start from here and then we make another forehead line here it's made into the shape of his hair so they're not just like really strong forehead lines they're just kind they're very soft into his actual forehead but he's definitely got them probably because he's scowling so much and then I'm gonna go up and give him his hair. So this hair is gonna go this way. Go down. A piece of hair here, a piece of hair here, a piece of hair here, and then a couple of hair off to the side. So this one should be going this way. Went in the wrong direction. There we go. Alrighty, so let's shape up his face just a little bit more. Now what we're going to do is from his nose, we kept this line, we're going to keep the line in the design because then we're gonna to go to here. What we're going to do now is bring out his face with his fur. So he's got little clumps of hair. He's just, it's not too, it doesn't look like it's really long hair. It just looks like it's fuzzy enough to bring out this side, jump over here not too long and we got a little bit of an underline on his face underline here line here always the character expressions lines here to kind of give it more of that scowl. 
or smirk. All right, I'm gonna erase this guideline going down the middle, and I'm going to erase this one. And I'm going to go right back up and put it on there. And it looks like he has two distinct pieces of his face. So we've got like the hair that goes into here. And then we have a smooth part of his face. That's probably his skin. We have a line that's going off to the side. So you see a little bit of an indention of the separation of his face and his hair, where he has the green skin and then he has green hair. And he's furry, over, furry all over, so you just gotta give him that texture of the fur all over his face. Okay, now let's jump down to his neck, which is actually being covered up by a red and white scarf. All right, so we're gonna start with the scarf. It's gonna go in front of his neck. And it's gonna curve in on top of his shoulder. And it's gonna fold this way. And then we have a little piece right here going underneath. And we can erase this. Then from over his shoulder, the part of his scarf is gonna go down. All the way to the bottom of his body. So his scarf's gonna go all the way down to in front of his legs. Curve right back up, it's still the same shape, so you're just mirroring the other side. It looks like he just has a little bit of this side. And it looks like he just has like a little bit of space going off to behind his back. So it's going off to the side and then this part is on top of that part. Okay. All right, let's keep moving down to his hand. So let's jump over to this hand first. He's actually holding a candy cane and he's got it snapped in two. I mean, it seems pretty uh, perfect. So <laughs> let's go ahead and his hands are pretty easy. They're still five fingers, but they're still easy because you can kind of, you can mess them up if you want. So I'm gonna make the palm of his hand going into his wrist. And then this side will go up and his pinky's gonna go out this way. So here's one side of his hand and here's the other. And this part's gonna go up make a thumb, make his fingers pointy, make a thumb. So we're gonna curve after the thumb and then we're gonna go up and make another finger. So it looks like we just made a fishing hook. Go up, make that finger pointy again. It's index finger and then the middle finger goes out just looks like spikies. See, they're really easy to make. And another spiky. So in this hand, we're just gonna draw right in the middle of the two fingers, a piece of candy can. I'm gonna lightly erase this so we can see it a little bit more. So you see we have the index finger and the thumb. And then you could make like a little broken part of a candy cane, get the stripes on there. And then we'll jump over to this hand because then it'll be holding the other side of the candy cane, which is the hook part. This part of the hand is gonna go out this way. So we have his thumb jumping over here and then his other part of his hand is gonna be going out this way. So if we go start over here and make our pinky, 
There, that part's done. Now we're making almost the exact same thing we made over here because he's holding it between his thumb and index finger. So this one's gonna go up, the thumb's gonna go up, pointy finger, and then another space for his index finger to curve. Curve it, and then stop, and then we're gonna make the middle finger going out little space and then the ring finger going out. And then he'll be holding the other side of the candy cane. So it's gonna go down and curve over. Yay! All right, so that isn't as hard because you get a little bit of leeway with Grinch's fingers just because they're hairy, so they don't exactly have to be precise. Okay, so let's look at his body. His shoulders have that I kind of, kind of, it looks like a shawl of hair. So we got a little bit of a shawl of hair going on. And then a little bit over here as well. Goes in front of his shoulders. Now, he is a very hairy dude, so you have to go around and kind of give that subtle hint that all over, he is extremely hairy. But he's not, it's not like obnoxious long hair like Bigfoot or a Yeti. For his feet, we're gonna just make this flow into each other a little bit more, and he does have more pointy toes. So we're gonna bring out his one foot here from that acute triangle and curve up his toes just a little bit. Go in and give him more of a heel. Jump down here and then make more of a curved toe going upward since this is facing more of us in our direction. And then in front of his scarf, in front of the break of his legs, the scarf does have a little bit of fringe. Okay, so the thing about the Grinch is he has a new design pattern inside of his actual fur. He has stripes on his fur and I think it's, it's brilliant. It's a great new touch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink it and then I'll show you guys the, how the stripe pattern goes because they're super close and you don't wanna make them mesh too much with the stripes on the candy cane actual scarf because this is just a basic candy cane scarf.
Alrighty, so there is how to draw illuminations. The Grinch hates every. I can't wait to see this movie because I need some more Christmas spirit. I know it's the beginning of November, but I'm totally ready for this. But yeah, guys, I hope you go and see Illuminations The Grinch, and I will see you all later. Bye!